Hey guys, my name is Mr. Cheese. I'm here to tell you about me and Player's brand new channel. <laughs> Sweet. It's called Among Us Adventures. Over there, we play all sorts of fun games in Among Us using awesome new mods. And it has even more stories featuring all your favorite characters, like me. <laughs> Check it out in the description below and enjoy the video. Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese. Poof. Probably distracted by the shiny lights of the reactor again. <laughs> Oh, cheese. <gasps> Mr. Cheese! Beanie Boy! Beanie Boy! What have they done to my little Beanie Boy? <laughs> Gentlemen! Come closer. Of course. Closer. Uh, all right. Closer. I, I don't think I can. Oh. Tell me, is there nothing I might do to ease your passing, my friend? Um... Afraid not. For. You see. Oh my wap. My shinduro. Nani? Mr. Cheese, that was positively dastardly. You played me like the proverbial fiddle. I would say he played you more like Operation. You know, with them cutting you in half and all. Uh, you know, Veteran, I think you might be playing that game wrong. Huh. That's what my babysitter used to say, too. Used to. Guys, guys, you'll never believe this. I finally convinced my girlfriend to play Among Us. Oh, my poor, poor Mr. Player, allowing yourself to be fooled by these far-fetched delusions, such as winning even a single game and getting an Among Us GF. I'm afraid, dear boy, that you're setting yourself up for failure on both accounts. But it's true. Veteran Metter, we even played Fall Guys together back when that was a thing. Wait, you mean you're still seeing that chick? It's been like five months since you last played with her. It's over, dude. Come on, haven't you ever heard the phrase absence makes the heart grow fonder? We'll be closer than ever, and we have so much to catch up on. Duh, oh, that's nice, player. Say, you gonna tell her about how you fell in love with Miss Pink in the cheetah's lobby? I, uh, well... Oh, she's almost here. Be cool, guys, please. Hey, you don't have to tell me to be cool. Check my drip, bro. Hi, Snookums! Hey, Pookie Bear! Barf! Oh, gosh! Didn't realize we had company! Who might you all be? Well, that's the gentleman. Charmed! Mr. Cheese? My name is Mr. Cheese! And you already know Veteran! <laughs> no way, Veteran! I almost didn't recognize you! See, last time we played... I was the one with the crown. <laughs> <laughs> Beginner's luck. So, are you gonna give yourself a gamer tag, or are you just play as girlfriend? Oh, right. I'll just use my actual name. It's. Eh, time out, lady dude. You might be the queen being a fall guys, but in here, you're brand spanking new, meaning your name is noob. Veteran. No, no, that's fair. I'll be noob. Maybe that way you boys will go easy on little me. <laughs> there. How do I look? Cute, right? You look pretty much like mother with a party hat on. Now come on, I don't care if there's only seven of us in this match. We'll play with just one imposter. Now, it's go time! Come on, Rose! Go team, go! Wow, so this is Among Us! Maybe I can win my very first match? Yeah, I bet if we stick together like the other couples, we'll both get our first win. Wait, you've been playing this for five months and you haven't won a single game? Well, uh, I only got close once or twice, but I have a really good feeling about this round. Oh, sure you do. Say, I'm gonna go do some tasks and I think we'll do better if we split up. See ya, sweetums. Are you sure you don't need any help? I'm good, bye. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Veteran? What are you doing? 
What does it look like? I'm trying to figure out how to get solitaire on this thing. It's clearly not useful for anything else. The real question is, what are you doing? Um, playing Among Us with my girlfriend? Uh-huh. Sounds like she might be the one playing you. How do you figure? Come on. You mean to tell me that it's her first game and she immediately knows how to do her tasks? In my first game, I just ran around like a super attractive guy and got shanked. Did you ever consider that maybe she's just better than you at this game? Ugh, I did not, because that's impossible. Ugh, oh, come on, you stupid thing. Ugh, ugh. You know you have to divert the power from the reactor to communications first, right? Psh, uh, yeah, duh. Could you, uh, excuse me for a second? Remember, watch out for your girl, dude. She's evil. <sighs> He's hopeless. I'm going to get you, Mr. Cheese. <laughs> oh my god! The gentleman's gonna murder Mr. Cheese! <laughs> you gotta catch me, gentlemen! <laughs> stop it! Get back here! Hey, stop it! You, 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 you try to catch me? <laughs> you gotta catch Mr. Cheese! He's too fast, baby! <laughs> huh? What's going on here? Oh! <laughs> Mr. Player, we... Youch! Time out, Mr. Cheese! Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. Yes, well, Mr. Cheese and I were just enjoying a nice fits in the decontamination room and thought it might be fun to... You know what? Spare me the details. <sighs> it seems like everyone's working together with their partner except me. Maybe my relationship is a total bust. Oh, Mr. Player, you don't have to prove anything to us. We're sure you and your sweetheart are very close. Isn't that right, Mr. Cheese? Uh, no way. You two are on a one-way road to Splitsville, baby. Someone's cut the power. Mr. Cheese, grab a candle. Mr. Cheese? Mr. Cheese? No! Wait, you're not playing dead again, are you? No! Oh my god, you killed him! Boulder Dash! Mr. Cheese and I have been alone in here since the game started. Surely I would have killed him sooner. But... but... Mr. Player, no offense, but need I remind you that this exact same situation has played out before? It's obvious what happened here. Yeah, of course. You're right. It had to be someone else. Mm-hmm. I think we both know who she is. Oh my heavens! There are so many people dead! And I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Well, it wasn't me. I went to the reactor room, Bob, to convert the power magic to communism like you told me to, player. I... what? Hey, hey, everyone, settle down. Now, what exactly did you see, boo-boo? I was in the locker room with Mr. Cheese and the gentleman. The lights went out, and a few seconds later, Mr. Cheese was lying there dead. Heh, <laughs> didn't see that one coming. Literally, I mean, because the lights were off. I believe you, honey. I'll vote for the gentleman in solidarity. Huh, yeah. Nice try, murderer. Uh, what are you talking about? Come on, babe. We all know it's you. <laughs> what? I didn't do it! How dare you kill my sweet cheesy prince! You will pay for your sorcery, she-devil! Dude, too far. Sorry. Player, I'm a crewmate, I swear! If you vote me out right now... Our relationship is over! Hey! What? What are you doing? Get your hands off of me, player! Player, put me down! Player! Player! Wait. She wasn't the imposter? Nope. Dang. I'm gonna really miss having a girlfriend. And stay out, you mangy butt! Next time I see you trying to steal food from my restaurant, I'll slice you up and serve you to the patrons! Wait a minute. What does any of this have to do with who the killer is? I'm getting to that, player. Do you want to hear the whole story or not? Yeah, player. It was just starting to get good. Fine. Please continue. Ahem. 
So anyways, eventually Cheddar was able to fall asleep in the alleyway. At the time, I was working as a sign spinner. You know, trying to pay my way through crewmate college. And I was barely able to make ends meet. And they forced you to wear that horrible clown costume? Nah, that was just for me. I figure you love clowns, and so does everybody else. Clowns are radical. Well, that's patently untrue. So there I was, out there spinning my sign, doing other tricks. Really just slaying in general. Because that's sort of my mantra, you know? And that's when these punk kids came through and changed my life forever. <laughs> hey, get back here! <laughs> Somebody stopped him! Please, please, I need that time back. Ow! Uh, but, but why? Ow! Uh, uh, ouchie! Ow! Uh, 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 uh. Why? Why me? What could you possibly gain from this experience? Ow! Ah, uh, uh, me, me, the cheese. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my God, Mr. Cheese, get to the point. But you can't just skip right ahead to the end, okay? Each line is but a single thread in the rich tapestry that is my life story. Yeah, player. How do you expect the climax to have a gratifying conclusion if you don't set up the proper tension in the first and second acts? It's like he's never even heard of Freytag's Pyramid before. Freytag's what? Ha! You've never heard of 19th century German playwright Gustav Freytag's paradigm of dramatic structure outlining the seven key steps in successful storytelling? Uh, no? What an idiot! Oh gosh. Will you two shut up already? I may not know anything about German playwrights, but I do know that if we don't figure out who the imposter is, all three of us are going to die. Fine, I'll skip ahead then. I still don't understand it to this day, but after I passed out in the alleyway from all that blunt force trauma, Cheddar was somehow able to transport and check me into the local hospital, Crewmate Regional Medical Center. Why bother with the full name of the hospital? Is that important to the story somehow, or? Shut up. Sorry. How you feeling, Mr. Cheese? No, I'm great, Doc. With Cheddar here by my side, I feel like a million bucks. Cheddar, huh? Looks more like a soft Gruyere to me. Fine, uh, Cheddar it is. So, uh, Doc, when do you think I'll be able to get out of here? Hmm, let's see. Well, unfortunately, it looks like you're what we call in the biz a total goner. What? Yeah, your insides are seriously jacked up. I'm surprised you're even alive right now. You got all sorts of problems. No, so... So is it... Is it terminal? I wouldn't say that. Oh, thank God. So there's still a chance I could make it. No, no, no. You're a goner. I just would never say to someone that they're terminal. It's such a bummer. I like to be the cool, fun doctor that gives out good news and lollipops. I see. So how long do I have to live? <laughs> hmm. Well, let's look at the chart again. Oh my god, you are not going to believe this, but I grabbed the wrong chart. You're totally fine. Wow, I uh, I really biffed that one. Brain fart alert. <laughs> what a relief. Yeah, you're free to go. You're in great health. It's some guy named Mr. Mean Cook that only has a few hours left to live. Mamma mia! Wait, pause. The fire's gone out. Let me grab the gasoline. Wait. Have you been burning all our fuel this whole time? Uh, yeah? I needed that for one of my tasks. Well, sorry, Mr. Taskman. How else was I supposed to make my famous white chocolate s'mores? You want one? Oh, s'mores me up, baby. No, I don't want any snacks. I want to win this game. You said you knew who the imposter was, so just get on with it. Fine, fine, fine. So, here's how the story ends. After Cheddar helped save my life, we became inseparable. He joined me in crewmate college, and we had all sorts of wacky adventures. He helped me cheat on my Task 101 test, and together we threw the sickest parties on the entire freaking campus. Plus, Cheddar was always the best wingman in the world. One time, he even helped our pathetic basketball team go all the way to the championship. It was a real-life Airbud situation. 
but he didn't just point the ball into the hoop like a dork. Jenna was straight up dunking on fools, baby. After college, though, Jenna decided it was best to settle on his own, forging his own path and whatnot. I miss him every day. I tried to get Toto to replace him, but he ended up turning into an evil zombie dog and bit me pretty freaking hard. I don't know. It just wasn't the same between me and him after that. Eventually, I became a regular crewmate on our voyages to Meyer HQ, the Scaled, and of course, here on Polis. And we just sort of lost touch. I guess that's what happens when you get older. The friends you thought you could never live without just sort of fade away from memory. Uh, you have to call him, Mr. Cheese. I know you miss him, and I'm sure Cheddar misses you too. I mean, maybe, but what would I even say? I know what you could say. What's that, boy? You could say who the imposter is! Literally nothing you've talked about during this entire story has had anything to do with what's happening in the game! But it has, player. You see, I didn't tell you that little story to reveal the imposter. <laughs> no, no, no. I did it to waste time for my sabotage cooldown. What? No. Yes, player. My grand scheme will finally be realized! <laughs> the doors won't budge, player! That's because you keep flipping all the same switches as me! You poor pathetic fools! Time is running out! I'll take this one, player! You activate the sensor on the other side! Got it! Almost there! I'm gonna make it! Oh, oh, uh, 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 uh. Good boy, Cheddar! How could you do this? You monster! I'm not a monster. I'm just a cheesy boy with a cheesy dog, baby. No! God, I can't see anything. Better turn on my flashlight. Ah, wait! wait. Shh! Don't, Don't you know, know that no visor's on the loose? He'll kill us all! Hey, quit saying, saying everything, everything that I'm saying. saying. Me, you're, you're the one who's copying. copying. Okay, okay, I'm gonna say something totally random to get us out of sync. Jellyfish, Angelica Houston, Blackstone Statutes and Contract Tort and Restitution 2012 to 2013. Wow, I'm, I'm not, not even mad anymore. anymore. This is just insane at this point. But seriously, stop. No, you! Seriously. Dude, stop! Fine, but mostly because I'm terrified of no visor hunting us down and trapping us in this game forever. So the rumors are true, huh? There really is a ghost that wanders the halls of the Scaled looking for new victims? Yeah, and not a regular ghost that helps do tasks and stuff. A real, legit ghost. A forgotten soul that waits here between our world and the afterlife. That's too spoopy, man. Thing is, he wasn't always that way. No visor used to be a regular guy, just like you or me. Really? I've never heard that part of the story before. It all started with a young college student named Aiden that was doing some shopping out at a flea market. See, this guy didn't have a lot of money, but he needed to find a working PC for homework and other stuff. Like video games? Right. He thought he might be able to find something for a decent price there. Too bad in the end, he paid the ultimate price. Wow, look at this piece of junk. It may not look like much, but this thing has many of the latest advancements in gaming technology. Uh, cool. So you're the guy that's selling this thing? What kind of computer is it? I don't see any branding. That's because there is none. It's 100% custom made. I tinker on the weekends, you see. Hmm, that's cool. Yes, it is. Go ahead, try it out. Play the new hit game Among Us. Among Us? Never heard of it. You'd never heard of Among Us before? This was 2018, player. Nobody had. Yes, yes. It's going to be big one day. The biggest game in the world. Go on, boot it up and play it. Uh, sure. Huh, this looks cool. Kind of violent, though. Of course it is. Among Us is a game about deception and murder. Someone plays as the imposter, trying to eliminate all the crewmates one by one, while the rest of the players work together to figure out who is responsible. So it's multiplayer? That's pretty sweet. 
It is, it is. You know what? You seem like a nice young man. Why don't you take it? Wait, really? You're just giving this thing to me? Of course. Go on. You'll have much more use for it than I ever will. Please, consider it a gift. Wow. Well, thank you, Mr... Duncan. Duncan Swearinger Cortez O'Barkley Gartenheimer. I was raised by a polyamorous quadruple. Cool. Well, thanks again, Mr. Uh, Duncan. Guess I'll see you around. Oh, I don't believe you will, Layden. In fact, I don't think you'll be seeing anyone ever again. <laughs> so Aiden takes the laptop back to his dorm, right? He was supposed to go to some crazy party that night, but he got so excited to get his rig set up that he ended up bailing instead. So you're seriously not going, bro? It's the biggest party of the year. Gonna be a lot of hot babes there. How can you even tell? Everyone looks exactly the same in these spacesuits, dude. Bro, you can tell. Well, I guess I'm just not feeling it tonight. I'm gonna hang inside and play some video games. All right, whatever you say, man. Don't wait up for me. My band's gonna play tonight, and we're gonna kill it. All right, time to finally check this game out. Hmm, better change my name. <laughs> what kind of noob scrub idiot would keep their name as player? Okay, there's no way you actually know that's what Aiden said. Dude, will you let me finish the story? Ugh, fine. No visor? What kind of name is that? Weird. Must be some kind of glitch or something. Eh, whatever. Wait, this can't be right. What's going on here? No cosmetic options. <laughs> Lame. What the? Okay, something is seriously messed up. I should just exit and restart in a different lobby. This game has voice chat? Okay, that was a mistake. Great. This place is freaky, but at least my model is fixed. Looks like I need to go over here for a couple tasks. What the? How did I? Ugh. Let's try this again. So this is some kind of loop. Is this part of the game? No, 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 this isn't right. How do I get out of here? Huh? What are these? Get them off of me! No Pfizer, no Pfizer, we will make you one of us. No, 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 come on, not like this! I think that's enough for tonight. Mr. Duncan didn't tell me this was a horror game. And it doesn't look like I've missed too much of the party. Guess I'm heading out tonight after all. Oh yeah, this is much better than that stupid Among Us game. I should have come out earlier. Thank you, thank you. Now, before we play our next jam, I have a very special surprise for my best friend and roommate. Come up here, Aiden. Wait, really? Yeah. Why do you think I was being so pushy about you coming out earlier? Come on up. Uh, yeah. 
Sure, okay. Here you go. Read this to all the people out there. Dude, what is this? Just open it up and read, man. Wait. Wait a minute, he was still inside the game? He never left? That's the big twist. According to the legends, he was in the game the entire time. Whoa. Yeah, well, they say he's some sort of missing code that's been left in the game since its inception. Inner Sloth keeps trying to patch him out, but Novisor finds a way to survive and to kill. What do you mean? Well, it's rare to see him. Nobody has figured out what causes Novisor to show up. But if you're playing on the Skeld, there's a small chance that he's lurking about, stalking you like prey. If he catches you, he turns you into a hideous Novisor and curses you to haunt these halls just like him. Hey, look at that. The lights are back on. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I can't believe we got so worked up over that story. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, I'm not scared of some silly ghost that's probably not even real. Yeah, me neither. You should be. Ah! Boring. Nothing to see there. Never liked that guy anyway. Ah, uh, this game just isn't the same anymore. I need some guidance, and I know just where to get it. Hello? Who is this? Greetings, Buzz Neilstrong. It is I, Captain. Not this guy again. I told you that's not my name. Sorry, Mr. Lightyear. I must have been confusing you with some other lesser astronaut. The kind that doesn't get out of the lander first. Uh, how do you get this number? I have my ways. What do you want this time? Sir, I made the mother of all oopsies. And well, Houston, I have a problem. Good lord, just get on with it, kid. Well, you see, I have this friend. We'll call him Player, because that's his name. Player and I are tight, like sardines in a tuna can or peas on the cob. Only thing is, he doesn't really show it, going so far as to pretend to forget my real name. Uh-huh. So I got a little mad and created this zombie virus to teach him a lesson, right? Yada yada yada, I ended up in some lava. But as I burned alive listening to the faint sound of skin sizzling like bacon over the molten flames, I heard him call me his bestie, despite everything I had done. And well, I just felt awful. I don't know how to make it up to him, Mr. Musk. And this all happened in some computer game, right? Indeed it did, sir. Look, I don't have time for this. Just do something nice for him, all right? But most importantly, never call this number again! Buzzstrong? Buzzstrong! Must have lost connection. I'll just try calling him again. Jeez Louise, Captain! Take a hint! He's just not into you! Unlike this knife! I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm? A bad feeling about what, Mr. Player? My sister's visiting from college and she wants to play with us. Oh, how fun! Nothing's better than playing a wholesome game like Among Us with family. Isn't that right, Franklin? I relish in the pain of others. Right. The problem is, I can't play today because I have karate class. That won't be a problem. We can watch after the last. And if I'm being honest, I think we will all enjoy a break from having to deal with your particular affliction. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Well, dearie, it's just that when we play with you, it's kind of obvious at this point what'll happen. We're either on the opposite team and win, or... Well, the point is... You suck! <laughs> Language, Franklin! Sorry, he just blurts out the cold hard truth sometimes without thinking. 
Wow. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? Just think, the next person who sits in that chair will be player's best friend. Ahoy, companions. Oh, Captain? I'm surprised to see you here after that stunt you pulled with the flesh-eating zombies. I ate Mommy's brains. Yes, you did, Franklin. Right. First off, let me just say this. My bad. Now let's move on, shall we? What we really need right now is some unity. Say, where's player? My brother said he can't play with us. Hmm? Did you say brother? Ah, uh, welcome to the lobby, young lady. What's your name? Well, people just call me Deb because my real name's too hard to pronounce. And what would that be, my dear? Jessica. Jess. Ka. <coughs> yep, story checks out. Pleasure to meet you, dumb. I'm Captain. I'm sure players mentioned me. Oh, you're the captain? Um, well, he. Let's just start the game, okay? Hear, hear. Everyone scatter! This is perfect. If I help his sister win, then player will have to appreciate me as a friend. Hold up, dumb. We have to do our task together. Wink, wink. And I say wink, wink, since you can't see my eyes. To be honest, I can't see much of anything. But I don't have any tasks. I'm an imposter. Me too. But if we work together, we can win this whole enchilada. I'm not supposed to eat Italian food. Neither am I, but I won't tell if you don't. Well, okay. Then dumb, onward. <laughs> that tickles! Oh, hurry up, Mr. Cheese. You're hogging all the hot lasers. Where you turn, the gentleman? Just follow my lead. Aye, aye, Captain. Why, if it isn't my favorite double quarter hatter with cheese combo. Greetings, Captain. I see you're showing dumb here the ropes. Yeah, what's up, dumb dumb? Um, uh, hello. Now, dumb, didn't you tell me you had a task in here to do? I did? Mm hmm. I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> Guess the name's appropriate, huh, dumb dumb? Oh! Huh? No! Great distraction, dumb. Now! <laughs> Change the ways. That's gonna leave a mark. Ow! Wow, dumb. You're incredible. Thanks. <laughs> I guess being a psychotic murderer just comes naturally to me. That's hot. Now come on, we've got a game to win, partner. Stepping out, it's Friday night. How I'm longing for this day. Yes, I'm single, oh, want to mingle, and my friends are. Hey, sis, how was your first game? It was amazing. I won! W what Really? Yup, and it was all thanks to one very special friend of yours. Please say Mr. Cheese, please say Mr. Cheese. Guess again. That's right, bestie. I secured your sister a win in her very first game. Aren't you happy with me? Oh, look, he's speechless. <laughs> We make a great team, Captain! You're gosh darn right we do. Hey, player, I've been thinking. You know what would be even better than being best friends? Being brothers! What do you think? Maybe someday, right, dumb? Captain? <laughs> Bestie? You okay? Player? 
Why isn't he talking? I don't know, babe. Play it. 